Bevelin and I met in high school and fell in love with each other and fell in love with the bush in Africa, went out in South Africa and ended up in Botswana and stumbled into doing science and research, studying lions and then uh, evolved into making films for BBC and then National Geographic and then ultimately evolved into uh, National Geographic Explorers. And so that's largely what we see ourselves as now. We use um, the arts and the science to be effective in conservation. Since lockdown happened in our lives a couple of months ago, uh, we've formed a working group to try and gather information about whether poaching has increased or not. And most certainly, there's been a significant increase in bushmeat poaching um, and then a sort of neutral bit of feedback about whether rhino and elephant are being poached at the same level. But it's certainly from our information, uh, commercial poaching, rhino, uh, horn, ivory and pangolin scales have also increased. And some, sometimes that material has been buried and waiting for lockdowns to end and start moving. But there are some devastating stories up and down through Africa. And so if this is happening now through COVID time, we could end up with areas that are vastly um, sterile and um, it'll be very hard to get this back. So the reason why we've started a project called Project Ranger is to try and stop that harm now. The obvious initial impact was that tourism stopped. So it just came to a dead stop. Um, we then started talking to people in the tourism business and realized in fact that millions, hundreds of millions of acres of wild lands protected and on the fringes of these protected areas have become vulnerable. It's not just how much anti-poaching tourism funds, it's actually been a presence in these areas that plays as big or if not more of a role. And talking about that vulnerability, that's exactly what the communities are feeling because they put their heart and soul into tourism. You know, tourism was bringing them an income and now with the stop of tourism, they're all at home in lockdown, as we all are, uh, but they're also fearful of their lives because they're feeling like there's, there's no follow through in them being supported. It's creating poachers out of people that were not normally poaching. And, uh, and in big numbers. And so the impact is devastating right across Africa. What we have had to do is look at a way to be effective and obviously look at what is necessary now and take action. And that's why Project Ranger supporting these frontline workers is absolutely important. Another big challenge is raising enough money to be able to support these projects. And we can only be effective not only by creating an awareness campaign, but also having the money to support people on the ground. We have to future-proof conservation. And so we're investing quite a lot of time and energy and money into education. So making sure that the next generation of kids coming out of the villages are already conservation-orientated.